Hi, I'm Sabrina Meck, and I'm here to talk to you about my three takeaways from the book The Sonic Boom by Joel Beckerman, about how sound transforms the way we think, feel, and buy. Now, I just want to talk to you about three things. Um, first, going to be the connection between sound and emotion. And then also, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into sound and its effect on biology, and then also take a stretch at how sound affects our spirit. Now, emotion and sound are really the connection that this book is all about. It's about how marketing can take a step further with sound and really make a boom moment with consumers and trigger an emotional response by using sound. Um, in a separate study, Biology Inc. and Elias Arts took 50 volunteers and they measured their neurological response in order to find the most addictive sounds, which really just means um, the most comforting and most familiar. And they found the top 10 with branded sounds and non-branded sounds. Now the branded sounds uh, were things like National Geographic, State Farm, and McDonald's, which I'm sure you can already recognize in your head. Um, and as a brand, that's a really cool thing to be able to take a sound and have someone associate your brand with it. So really cool, but then they also took non-branded sounds. And some of the top 10 were things like A Baby's Giggle, The Star Spangled Banner, and Sizzling Steak, which the Sonic Boom actually talks about that Chili's used as a marketing tool. And these sounds are really what you can use in order to achieve those boom moments, to make an emotional connection with people. Now I want to take a step further because I really feel like science um, can kind of explain why sound is so effective. Uh, sound can even affect our biology. In 1986, the LA Times did an article on Dr. Susumu Ono, who studied human cells and the sounds that they put out. Dr. Ono created a code to translate the sonic output of a cell on a molecular level into music notes. He found that a healthy cell would actually create um, a jovial, upbeat rhythm, while an oncogene, which actually causes cancer, had a more somber sound, which was kind of out of control and sporadic. That same negative, somber music um, was actually very similar to the funeral march uh, written by Frederick Chopin. Now hang in with me here. Um, Chopin actually wrote the funeral march in 1839 and passed away 10 years later. In the autopsy notes, they stated that there was something in his body that they had not discovered yet, a disease that was unknown at the time. Today, they believe that Chopin could have actually had um, a disease like cystic fibrosis or even cancer. So if you think about it, the music that he actually wrote, which matched the cellular music of a cancer cell, it, that means it could have actually been what Chopin was playing on the inside of him, biologically, the sound that was going on inside of him. Really neat. And so as we see that sound can actually affect our emotions and even affect our biology, I just kind of want to take one step further and say that sound has an even greater significance on a spiritual level. The Sonic Boom mentions that sound is one of the founding principles of Christianity, and I just want to read to you from Genesis. Um, in the beginning there was a void, and it was empty. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. Now, you might just think, well, God created light, but he actually didn't create the sun and the stars until the fourth day of creation. So what did he create when he said, let there be light? He was literally speaking the ability to be, the ability to exist. That's why the Bible says the power of life and death is in your tongue, because there's such power in sound. And I think that that's kind of how God communicates. It's so really cool. I think that sound has an effect on a spiritual, biological, and emotional level. And that's why it's such an effective marketing tool. Because as a marketer, you're not just selling a product or service. You're trying to create a relationship and create an emotional response. And that's exactly what sound does.